Good morning, good morning guys. Welcome back for another carving video. It is a beautiful spring day. But in today's video, we are going to be carving a Native American. This is gonna be my first person carve, so I'm nervous, but I'm excited. We're gonna just kind of go with the flow and we're gonna get her done, okay guys? We're gonna get her done. This is the beast of the log that we'll be carving today. Uh, 30 inch diameter white pine, so let's get carving. Back at it this morning. We are going to start by finding some legs in this big Minecraft square, man. <laughs> so you can see we have this leg, which is the further back the two legs. And then we have this forward leg. It's kind of in a gentle spread out stance like this. So we're gonna just kind of chip away. Hopefully by the end of the today, we have just a blocked out person. Uh, right now you can't even tell it's a person from the back still. There's a lot of material that needs to be removed. If you're a carver and you don't have a respirator, please, 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 please get one. Do you see all this stuff? This was a royal blue shirt. Yeah, this would be in your lungs. So 
I really like this 3M one because it drops down. See this little clip? Locks on, we're good. Never have to adjust it, fits every time. So I'm gonna leave a link to this respirator down in the comment section below. Please, if you don't have one, get one. This one's great. Doesn't need to be this one. Get any respirator, okay? <laughs> Hey, hey guys, so we moved our Indian under my carving shelter just because there's a lot of rain in the forecast this week and I don't want to be carving in the rain. But anyway, we will be carving his like pants today. I'm gonna give him some nice cute moccasins and uh, kind of work our way up, I think. Yeah, we're gonna work our way up. So let's start with the feet. Hey guys, so we're going to start on the head today. I'm super nervous, but also very excited for this part. So I have the block here. This is actually from the exact same tree that we carved the body out of. So the color is going to match up perfect. This big log here is also part of that same tree. So I kind of got a batch of one big cut up tree. So we're going to start with the head.
is pretty stinking cool. This little headdress. So we are going to glue our head onto the body. So sorry, I have this little family of robins right up there. You see the nest? And the mama robin keeps coming in to check on her eggs and I feel so bad. I feel like I'm intruding on their home. Um, but anyway, we're gonna kinda be quiet. I feel so bad. She's been like dodging in and out all day. But um, anyway, we're gonna glue the head on. This stuff expands a lot, so you really don't need much. It has been two days since we glued the head on. So we're gonna sand this down and actually give him like a more refined neck and just kind of work on that, you know, body to head transition today. And then we'll finish up the arm and I hope to get that glued on later today. And we're really getting there. And then we can kind of start wrapping our head around finishes, which is super exciting. So let's go. all of our shading done so you can see we have that torch color and all the deepest texture now pick up on the feathers and the pelt super cool this little skirt the knife i absolutely love 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 doing the sanding but um I went up to visit Marco really quick at the house and he told me I looked like a clown. I'm gonna show you guys. And this is why I wear a raspberry. <laughs> I am Simba. <laughs> what the heck guys? I'm gonna need to shower like five times today. Oh my goodness, look at my shirt. See, and that's why you wear a respirator. All this junk would be in my lungs, but um, yeah. Oil time.
Well guys, if you made it this far into the video, thank you. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed it. I can't even tell you how much footage I had to go through to make this thing. Whew. I think this project took me like two months, not like straight, like between other projects. And I took like two weeks off to go down to Pennsylvania to go to the Chainsaw Carver's Rendezvous, which just kind of made this project take a lot longer. Um, but this was a big project for me at the time. Um, I say at the time, even though it was just a couple months ago, but, uh, I have a lot more saws now and just, I feel like a lot more experience under my belt. I feel like this was a big turning point project. I learned a lot from this project. I don't think I'll be doing another person anytime soon because <laughs> that was hard. But anyway, I have a Patreon link below. Join if you want to see live updates and me carving daily. I pretty much post daily on there. Just talking about what I'm carving, what I'm doing, what I'm learning, yada yada. But uh, yeah, um, I'll also leave that respirator link down below. Please, if you're a carver, wear a respirator, okay? Just wear a respirator. You'll thank me later. But um, yeah, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. Share it, like it. Everything helps the channel, guys. Thank you. Till next time. Bye. Mm -hmm.